to. But don't, you don't can't do that. that. You have one warning. You cannot touch my property like that. That is not your property. Yes, it is. Okay, you're being sued. What is up guys? My name is Tara. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a continuation of my crazy neighbor story. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, click the little eye that pops up. Watch all the videos before this one so you know what the heck is going on because otherwise you might be a little confused. For those of you that you know, have been around this whole time or have caught up and then are here now. You know that my neighbor has been harassing me since the day that I moved in and I don't get to use my outside areas that I literally bought this place specifically for. And that's a huge bummer. I don't want some old lady, you know, making me not want to use my space, but she's spraying people with hoses now. So you go outside, you get sprayed. And this is because there are holes in the fence between us. I have said for months that I am going to get that fence covered up so I don't have to deal with her anymore. And that day came and that day was yesterday. So I finally got my contractor to come over and patch up this fence so she can no longer look at me and say anything to me. Also, by the way, if you're new here, definitely subscribe because I, I know there's gonna be another video. <laughs> I just know there's gonna be more to this because, well, you'll find out by the end of the story, but there will definitely be more to this. Like it's not over. It's just a horrible experience. I have deep, deep anxiety because of it and paranoia in my home. This is fresh, it just happened yesterday and I am um, deeply, disturbed and shaken up. I just feel just so uncomfortable. <sighs> Anyways, let's discuss what the heck happened. So my contractor came over yesterday with all the materials. I showed him all the photos. He knew exactly what we were doing to the fence. Here, this is where we're at. Oh, it's gonna look so good. The only thing we were doing to it was attaching wood to my side of the fence. So no matter what, that is legal. And also the fence is on my property line. It's way, it's three feet past her property line. So it's, it's my fence, even though she bought it and paid for it, whatever, it's on my property. So I have every right to do what I want with it. And the president of my HOA, he's gone over there many times showing her these papers and showing her where her fence is. And it's actually attached to my, to the building. Her fence is literally attached to the wall surrounding my building. So she built her fence on top of our building. So no matter what, she's in the wrong. So he has the ladders up there and he starts putting on the wood. And I think we got like four panels deep. And I was just like, wow, this is really happening. And she hasn't come outside. I was shocked. Well, I, I'm surprised she isn't out yet. Well, I know. So I'm thinking she must not be home. What if she takes a hand? Well, then she's ruined her own fence, I guess. Yeah. So we're continuing and I'm sitting at my table in the living room so I could kind of watch, but I also had the curtains closed. They're sheer curtains so I could still see, but at the same time, I just felt safer, but I felt the weight lifting. I didn't realize how much it had been weighing until that moment. And I was like, wow, I actually feel like I'm about to get my, my place back, my home back. <sighs> and of course she eventually comes outside and I have two stories in my home in case you didn't know that. So I had cracked my bedroom balcony door so that I could hear everything up there and still hide behind my blackout curtains. I realized how sad this sounds. Like I shouldn't have to do this in my home, but I, I did. So I run upstairs and I obviously start recording. How are you? Good. All right. Covering in this side with wood. That's it. Solid? Yeah. Where's your pudding? Right over right here this side. To this thing? Yeah. No, don't attach it to this thing to my thing. Uh, well. These are my footings and this is my fence. Mm -hmm. So you have to attach it to something else. The thing is, this is very light. Don't attach it because you'll get sued. But well, why? I'm not going to tell you because I didn't employ you. If you do do it, you will be sued. So I'm trying to get you to go back and think of another way. I was supposed to get approval on this. You're going to have to reach, go back, recalculate the job, nah. and tell them how much money it's actually going to cost. One thing. Yes. So what about if I put it some tarp, like a plastic something? No, I don't want anything attached to it. Oh, really? Yeah, because I don't want it weakened. This is the fence that was built years ago. Uh huh. And it's the best one. Okay. You understand how I feel? I know. So, who is this wall? This your? That, that wall was put up so that the. The, the, con the concrete so wall. That, no, so that this earth does not go into this property. Just to ask you, uh, who build the retaining wall? They were told they had to build the retaining wall. Oh, you know what? I'm trying to 
to do my day. I know you are. I know you are. But I want you to realize what the consequences are going to be. Why we don't make easy to finish this project? No, because I don't make things easy. <laughs> easy is not where I go. I, I go know. for what's correct. I'm a father working to provide my home. I know you do. You want to I come understand. here, do a job. Yes. You're a homeowner. You know it. You're not going to let someone come over and take your property away. Okay, okay. Do niceness. I understand. I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, argue with you. I don't want to argue with anyone. I don't argue with. Baby, my name is Johnny. You have to now, attach it to something. Now you told me you buy. You have to be attached to something. When I finish this wood, your fans are gonna be more strong. I don't want it. I yeah. don't care, Johnny, how strong. Yeah. I know exactly what I have, and I know what my legal rights are, mm -hmm. and I don't like fast ones, and so I don't really care. It's got to stop, okay? Yeah. And I don't care what they know. They were pulling this on me. They knew exactly. I explained it to the Homeowners Association. He guaranteed me that he would I would have approval. These homeowners come, I'm living here 43 years. Yeah. These homeowners came here less than a year ago and wants all kinds of changes. I am now subject to lighting that is very disturbing. Uh -huh. And I will make sure that I have an electrician in to come in here and put lighting on and let them see what that feels. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh. Yeah. These people come in, they buy a condo, and they think they own the block. Well, they don't own the block. They don't own me. I never had a problem with anyone else here until this lady moved in. Okay, so definitely you don't want to see my wood this side. Hello? I'm not answering any more questions, Johnny. Okay. So after that conversation ended, Donnie, my contractor, he went back up at the fence like 10 minutes later just to see if she was still in the backyard and would like look. So he was on the ladder and he was up there for like three minutes and I didn't know what he was doing, but I could hear him kind of giggling to himself. And uh, he came down, he was like, she's hiding behind a tree. Sorry, the lighting is changing. That she could watch to see if we kept going or not. So my contractor obviously was very disturbed and didn't know what to do. He was like, do we continue? Do we not? And I also didn't know what the heck to do. I didn't know what to tell him. Obviously I wanted to continue, but I knew, I don't know, she had already like given us a warning and you don't really want to mess around with somebody like that. So he's on the phone with his other contractor buddies and other people that he knows that do similar things. And he's telling me that I have every single right, especially because her fence is bolted into my wall. So no matter what, I have every right to do this. So after an hour of debating this back and forth with my contractor, we decided to continue with the fence because I, I need it done. I just need it done. It's obviously disastrous trying to get it done, but it needs to be done. Just need it to be done. You can clearly hear that her logic isn't there because he asked about like, can we do a plastic? She said no, even though the other neighbors next to me that also share the lawn with her, they have the plastic. So there's just, there's just no logic. Anyways, whatever, we decide to continue. And I didn't know how it was gonna go. I didn't know if she was gonna come back outside. It did not go well. This is when I started shaking, like literally shaking. My contractor like was hugging me, being like, it's gonna be okay. I'm scared too. Like it was, it was insane. So I'm on FaceTime with Jill and I see her with a hammer coming back over to the fence. And Johnny's downstairs. He's, I guess, prepping the next piece of wood. And she comes over very angrily. <laughs> You cannot touch my property like that. That is not your property. Yes, it is. Okay, you're being sued. Sue me, I dare you. I will. Please, we're gonna continue and you can sue me. And we have this on video. So you we now have, you you're going to jail, lady. I'm on the witness. You can have whatever you want on you, video. You don't have okay. to act like that. You have to understand that we have the right to, to face the fence. I'm calling the police right now. The police will be at your door very soon. I'm so sorry, Johnny. You want to send me to the hospital? There's her hammer. It was just, just traumatizing. Like that was 
traumatizing. And I don't want to say that in like a dramatic way, but I felt traumatized. I don't know how somebody else might have felt. Maybe I'm just weak, like I don't know. I just, I felt traumatized. I mean, it was horrific. She literally had her hammer at the fence, banging at it, and I could see the wood coming off of the fence. It's horrible. And at the same time, she's, you know, worried about the integrity of her fence. She for sure broke part of her fence by banging on mine, you know? There's just no logic, you know? Like, there's just no logic. So immediately I called the police. That had reached a point where, okay, I can't just not call the police. I haven't called the police before because I just didn't want to get involved. I didn't want to escalate the situation, but obviously there was a point where like, okay, I have to do this. You have reached the Los Angeles Police Department, non-emergency number. <laughs> if this is an emergency, please hang up and please hold while your call is transferred to a police operator. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't even know what to say. You're gonna be fine, just tell them what happened. Okay. Poor Johnny, this is so sad. I know, she literally was hammering at it. I couldn't believe that. Did you see the video? Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Crazy. My contractor is like horrified on the phone with people like what do we do? Do we continue? I'm just I mean he, he literally is just trying to make money for his family and do a job and He told her that and she just doesn't care. So an hour and a half goes by the police have not showed up So I called again and they said that they were on their way But there was no estimated time of arrival So Johnny was waiting kind of by the street to wait for the police And I was just kind of on the phone with my parents and like just figuring out what the heck am I doing? Just horrified that she was gonna come out which she did. She ended up coming out and she just stood at the edge of her fence screaming at me. You stupid, stupid girl. You're a silly girl. Just all this stuff saying, you're not even a citizen. Like, like, what does that have to do with anything? Anyways, shit show. Just a shit show. So we finished with one part of the fence. One little section of fence. We got three more to go. After like, I think it was like two and a half hours, the police showed up. They said, ultimately, there's nothing they can do. Um, I showed them the video of her literally damaging my fence. They said, unfortunately, since we couldn't see her face doing it, there's no proof. She could have just been doing something to her fence. You know, like there's ways around the law. And I realize how ridiculous that sounds, but like, I understand it. I see why she can get away with this stuff. It is not at all right, but the police literally said there's nothing we can do. And your only two options are take her to civil court, get security cameras, or move. And I shouldn't have to deal with this woman. The police cannot do anything, and that's insane. I'm going to civil court, like I don't even know what the heck to do in court. I don't know what that I'm doing. I don't wanna do that. I have no interest in doing that. Police did tell me that I could continue building the fence and that there were, they were not gonna do anything about it, so we're gonna continue building the fence on Monday. This is going up on Tuesday, so by the time this is live, I'll have another update, but this is gonna be long enough as is, so I figure we'll just separate them. I, I don't even know what's gonna happen. There might be nothing. I. I don't know. The police did go to her door and they spoke to her and they said that her place was really creepy. Which is funny, I didn't think police could speak that way, but I guess they can. I don't know, they're just humans. They said that it seemed like they got it across to her that she cannot take matters into her own hands and if she has a problem, she can call the cops on me. So that's kind of what happened with the police. That's kind of what happened with the fence. After that, my contractor just packed up and left and said like, let me know what the game plan is. So I spoke to my parents and my dad actually, greatest man in the world. He is flying out here tomorrow so that he can be here on Monday when we get working on the fence again. I can't even tell you how appreciative I am that he's going to help me because I just, I feel so lucky. I just don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to continue. The whole thing is insane. And I'm just looking forward to getting this taken care of. We might even hire a security officer to stand in my patio while this is going on just to make sure that she can't do anything because it's been, you know, 24 hours now, I think, since we had the one section finished and she hasn't done anything since my contractor left. So I think once we get it done, she can't do anything. I don't I don't know, but she didn't do anything to the green tarp of my neighbors. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume once we get the fence up, she's just gonna leave it. She's an 80 year old woman. I can't, I can't imagine her taking the entire fence down herself. So yeah, it's just gonna be an insane, Monday. It's gonna be insane and I have so much anxiety thinking about it, but knowing my dad's gonna be here with me uses so much of that, like, holy shit. <laughs> Even my contractor, Johnny, he said, I was so scared of her, like, I don't know how you live here. <laughs> and this is a big man, you know, a big older man. If he's scared of her, how the heck am I supposed to be? Anyways, that is where we stand. So that's kind of everything that has happened thus far. I can't believe this story is still ongoing and I can't believe we didn't finish the fence, but 
Hopefully by the end of day, Monday, it'll be done. It'll be three feet higher if that is legally allowed. And then I'm hoping by the end of the week, I will have my sanctuary of a backyard back. I got a cute little palm tree and some pink plants out there. Like I just want to utilize it. I want to make a cheese board and I want to sit out there and I want to eat it. I want to eat my cheese on my patio. Anyways, that's where we're at. If you're not following me on Instagram, I highly recommend it because Instagram sees it first always. So yeah, I even have a highlight on my Instagram with everything that I've posted on Instagram about her. So if you want, you can go follow and watch that. And so that's where I'm gonna end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know you guys love these videos. I, I, I think it's great. It's great content. It's really cool. I just can't believe that I'm living it genuinely. I wish that I could, I wish this was fake. Like I wish this was a show and it wasn't my actual reality, but it is. So I will continue to share it for you guys because I'm sure if this was someone else's story, I would be living for it. So, <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna end this video. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for all of your support through this nightmare. I love you and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.